Hi all, in this video, let's learn how to format the code by configuring the prettier. So this is not just like a VS code extension. So I will try to explain you about the configuration setting so that you once you set this configuration and push that to the kit, not just you, it's like a practice to enter your teammates as a project level setting. Okay, that's what we are going to see. So usually the problem would be like anyone if have their code like this. So if they have the tab space like four, one of the guy and uh, another teammate has a two, two tape spacing. To, so then what happens is like when they raise PR, merge request, pull request. So then it would be like newly added files. The early one, earlier ones, it seems to be like a remote and he's going to add a new files. This is only because of prettier settings are not same in both of the teammates. So it's like a best practice or a standard to set this prettier configuration at the project level so that we won't get any much conflict issues while raising the PRs. Fine. So let's see that. Firstly, I will uh, create a file at the root so I will name it as dot prettier RC file. Okay, this is a configuration file. What we need to put in this configuration file. So I will uh, go back to the online prettier dot Ivo. Here, insert this prettier dot Ivo. I will click try it now. And now I got a couple of options at the left side. So you can plug and play with that. So for example, no bracket spacing. So if I click this, there won't be any spacing between the brackets. If I say I don't want any semicolons, if I click this, all the semicolons would be remote, okay, in this piece of code. So like that, you can configure yourself, like the tab space, I want four. I will increase that to four. Like that, you can discuss this all with your teammates and you can decide one for the prettier and all these settings you can configure. If you're not aware of what is that property, so I will put this, prettier options configuration thing in the description of this video. You can check it, see bracket spacing. If you say true, it would be like, a, it, it appears like this. If you say false, it appears like this. And also tailing comma is, you want the tailing comma or not like that. And uh, quotations, you want a single quotation or a double quotations and semicolons you need or not, like about the tab indexes. So everything would be listed here. The options of the prettier would be listed here. You can verify this and you can set those options here and just you can copy the config JSON. So I'm clicking here the copy below and go back to the code base, just paste here. So now you can see a lot of stuff like uh, everything would be related to the prettier configuration. Okay, this is the first step. And second step, install the prettier in your project. I'm doing that npm install a dev dependency so hyphen capital D and installing prettier in our project. So just, we have installed it, fine. So now let me configure it. So to configure it, let me go back to the package.json file and I'm adding one more script. Uh, let, let me name this as a format and I will put this format. Like once we have installed the prettier, I will use prettier hyphen f and write. So write means why we are giving write means. So prettier will modify the files. It will, in fact, it will modify. It's like a write option we are giving and on what files. So here you need to mention them some format in order to tell which files to be modified. So for that, I'm using this format dot all the files plus brackets inside this dot js file, the files which ends with js okay and pipe with ts pipe json so these are the major file formats we see right uh, js extension uh, ts extension json files so we want to modify these files uh, coding format right so this is how this is a formatter and we added a script for that now let's go back to any of our uh, file like app.json file so if i do something like a formatting stuffs, okay? If it is not good. So if I run this NPM run format, see once it runs, it adjusts this one. It would be formatted. NPM run, okay, give me a second. Star, star, okay, sorry. The format is wrong here. So let me go back here. We have just given this format. Later on, we need to mention backslash star. Okay, sorry, because this extinction was not appeared here. 
So let's go back to the app.json file and let me run back this npm run format. Yes, it was formatted. So it was formatted according to the prettier RC file. So whatever the configuration it was there. So when you run this prettier command, okay, this prettier automatically picks this prettier RC file. And according to that, it will modify these extension files in your code base. You can put this format, npm run format, in your hooks, like uh, when you are trying to commit something, you can put this before committing, you, you can run this npm run format. When you are pushing some code, you can put this npm run format, like that you can do, so that before you are pushing or committing your code to the kit, the code would be formatted. That is the best practice. And here you can see few of the files like package log JSON or dist file, node modules file. There would be a couple of files. You don't want them to be modified. Here, once you run this command, it will list down the respective files which it was modified. Okay. Here, if you find a couple of files, if you don't want them to be modified, like log, dist, and uh, node modules files. So then you need to add some prettier ignore. So let me create one more file at the root folder. Dot prettier ignore. So in this file, so this follows the same structure as git ignore. So that's the reason I'm just copy pasting the git ignore syntax here and I'm pasting it. Now you can put few more files. So other than this, you can put like package lock. So usually we don't need this, right? Package lock. And also if you don't want the dist folder, yes, you can put if you don't want the build folder. I think it was already added here in the build folder. So like that, you can do this. Like you are ignoring these files to be formatted. So now if you again format it, you won't see the package log.json file because we have already ignored it. Fine. This is how you can ignore the uh, files which you don't want formatting. Fine. So this is at a high level about formatting, but someone want that in a local uh, like a VS code extension. So let me show that as well. So this is at a high level configuring this for the formatting prettier for the project. But the other way is like uh, everyone want to install the VS code extension in their personal mission and they want to do. This is for the personal use case. I will let me show you the another way for the personal use case. Go here and search for the prettier extensions. This is search for the prettier and the first one. So you can install it. I have already installed it. So it is showing as a disable or install. So you can install this. Once you install this, you need to, it will not directly work. So once you install this, it will not directly work. You need to do a couple of uh, like settings. So let me show you those settings. Firstly, uh, you need to go to the settings file. Here settings, and I will go to the settings. Here you can search for default formatter. Default formatter. Okay, so here it was not selected anything. So you can select this as prettier code formatter, this one. So once you install the extension, you can, you, it would be appear here. You can select this. So you're selecting your default formatter as a prettier here. Okay. And next thing you, you can also do the formatting when you save your file. Okay. So I'm doing that on save. Okay. I'm just searching for the on save. So format your code on save. Okay. So that's the reason two things. So one, I clicked the prettier default format as a prettier and the second one when you want to save your file then you want to format your code I have clicked this checkbox and if you're not uh, familiar or uh, you don't want this typing and do this one so you have another option at the top you can see if i click open settings at the right top so you'll be getting a json file like this where if you see these are the two settings which we have made in the gui if you don't want this type of thing at the top, you'll be having an option. You can do the settings directly. You can add these formatting settings there. Okay, these are the two ways you can uh, set your user settings. Okay, uh, this is a second way of uh, configuring the format like a prettier for the personal use. It helps mostly for the personal use. The first method which we took is for the high level for the project level things. This is for the personal use. Hope you understand how to format your code or configure the prettier for our projects. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe for more videos. Thank you.